Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash and welcome back once more to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate The World of Light Adventure Mode Replay. This is part 17. We are in the Sacred Land, which is a Legend of Zelda area. And in the last video, um, we uh, made it pretty much this far. So pretty much we started right there. We came through the portal. We came around here, got this first area complete where we did the time thing and loop, whatever. And now we're about to be on our way into the forest. But before we do, we have to take care of a few more spirits and more to such get through. So let me go ahead and get this one real quick, even though we're not going to be able to get that master sword yet because a rock is in the way. But let me get this spirit real quick. Hilda from Legend of Zelda. Forgot which Legend of Zelda game in particular, but I do, uh, I may have not played the game where this character's from, but I have at least seen or learned a little bit about Hilda when I searched her up on a uh, Google. Anyway, this is the Sacred Land, but we are also in the Dark Realm, just to let you know. This is one of the portals that we entered in the last video for the Dark Realm. Um, so, you know, we have a new boss here. This is, it's Dark Darkon. You know, he's the main, he's now the, he's now the second main antagonist of the game. You know, he's the, the main antagonist of the Dark Realm, so... We defeated Galeem in the Light Realm from one of the previous videos, so now we entered a new realm, or at least as we already did, but, you know, I just thought I'd give you a little re recap. Anyway, that takes care of that. Here's Hilda. Alright, uh, that takes care of that spirit, so yep, as you can see, you can't go forward, so we're gonna keep going. Now, I am playing as Zelda, just to let you know. In the last video, we unlocked, I think it was... It was two characters I got. Yeah, Zelda and Sonic the Hedgehog. And I remember now that I said in the last video I was going to want to play as both Zelda and Sonic. So I'm going to play as Zelda for a little bit, and then maybe later I'll play as Sonic at the end of the game. At the end of this video. Anyway, here's another. Uh, there's one who awaits the arrival of a hero. Alright. So we have more of these little owl stone statues, whatever, that'll give you like little hints when you read them. So that was, that was another hint that... That was kind of, I think, pretty much a reference to Zelda when he awaits Link as the hero, but I don't know. I usually focus on ones that really give you real hints, because there are only certain ones you really gotta pay attention to that give you, like, real hints, you know what I mean? I could have sworn you can move that cage around, but I guess you can't in this one. Yeah, in normal circumstances, you can actually move that cage around where the character's locked up in, and then you can, know, you can break them free, and then they'll go flying off and everything, but I guess in this particular case, I guess you can't. But that was Harry Styles inside the cage, pretending he's a princess. <laughs> I have, uh, me characters of all the members of One Direction, Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, now Horan, Liam Payne, and Louis Tomlinson, and then I also got the main seven of the My Little Pony Question Girls, both versions of Twilight Sparkle, Pony Twilight, Human Twilight, or Science Twilight, whatever you want to call her, Sunset Shimmer, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and Rarity, and myself. Anyway, we're into the forest now, and... I love how the music changes, it's pretty much like a remix of Sir Sirius' song for The Lost Forest from Legend of Zelda or Green of Time, a classical so Zelda song, it's one of my all-time favorites as well. Anyway, um, we got this thing, it's, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's from Pigmen. On the stage, the stage that we're gonna fight in, this thing will appear, so this thing physically appears every once in a while, but anyway, we have to fight a giant Yoshi. I didn't even get all of that attack. Oh, got him. What? Oh, wow. When they're stunned and they go on the platform, then they get unfrozen so fast. That's a bit of a weird. Oh, it's a stamina battle. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why I'm trying to knock this character off the stage. God damn it. That egg can get kind of annoying. It's not the most annoying thing in, in Yoshi's arsenal, but, you know, when he keeps putting you in that egg, it kind of does get a little annoying. Well, we got him. Now the, e now, the crazy thing is is that when that thing, as you saw on the right, comes in, if you can actually get it close to a character, if you actually can get the character or your opponent close to its mouth, it can actually eat it, and it'll be an instant kill. You won't be able to escape it, because it'll eat whoever's close to the mouth, so I just thought I'd let you know about that. Um, anyway, let's go up to this one. East, south, then continue south, the invisible path calls for you. Now this is a good hint, because this pretty much lets you know that there's a secret path that's ahead, so we have to follow this instruction. We have to go east, south, and then continue south. So let's do that. 
So we gotta continue going south. Well, before we do, we have to get this spirit out of the way first, Mr. L from Paper Mario. So I better get the spirit out of the way before I continue on with what I was gonna do. Okay, we're good, yeah. Just fog immunity. Gotta have Ashley Robbins to help prevent fog. Now, I don't know anything about this character, Mr. L. I don't know if it's a clone of Luigi or not. I feel like I want to say that it looks like a clone of Luigi, but I could be wrong. If anybody knows who Mr. L is, let me know in the comments down below, because I don't even know what Paper Mario game he's from, either. Really too easy. Alright, so we gotta still continue south. There it is! The Invisible Path. There it is. So this is the Invisible Path where it's like a trees, whatever. So that's pretty cool, so that's the Invisible Path. And here's another, um, another path. North, West, North, and then continue North, dive in with courage. Now this is a good one because, um, there is a fighter we can get in here. But this is the fighter we can get if we go into the water, so that means we're going to find water and we dive into it, and I think this is- Actually, no, 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 excuse me, that's not the right one, excuse me. But there's a water path somewhere that we can get. There's a water path. I think this is the water right here, so... Um, we just have to follow its instructions, go north, west, north, and then continue north, so... We're going to get the spirits out of the way first, however, so let's get the swift spirits out of the way. I did see, um... West, so uh, that's the water right there. That's the water after that next spirit that we'll get to. So, okay, so that's what we gotta do. I, th I was looking at the wrong water. I was looking at the wrong one. Anyway, this is Tiny Kong. This is a spirit from Donkey Kong. Oh, no. Oh, I should have put my wind immunity on. Crap. I gotta be careful, because if I keep falling in that water, that crocodile or alligator may get me if I'm not careful. That's why I always need to put wind immunity spirits on, because this could cost me. I'm just gonna keep spamming this, because I can't keep doing this. I gotta get out of here. I meant to put the wind immunity on, but apparently there was also a gravity immunity. I put the wrong one on, apparently. I wasn't paying attention. Because I was just trying to wrap this up quickly so I wouldn't forget what I was trying to do. But anyway, uh, this one's good. We can get our regular spirits back on. So after this, we go north and then we continue north. And as I said, we'll dive into some water. So we'll see it in a minute. That's what I was trying to hit, but I kept missing it. I kept actually pressing the wrong move at the same time. Now I got it. Now we're on track. Alright. There we go. There we go. There's the secret water path. And yep, I knew it. I knew it was going to lead us to the spirit known as Saria, because I remember this path now. This is the spirit Saria. This is the person that I was talking about that has that song. This is her theme song from uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, or at least it's a remix version of it. And this is the real version. Well, not the real version, but a somewhat another remix version. This is like the Super Smash Bros. Melee version of her song. This also pretty much is like, um... This pretty much is also like... Young Link's theme song as well. When you fight Young Link in Super Smash Bros. Melee and you try to unlock him, this becomes like his theme song. So this is like the Super Smash Bros. Melee version of the song, but it's pretty cool though. If you want to know what the original Surya song, aka the Lost Wood song, sounds like from Legend of Zelda Queen of Time, I suggest looking it up on YouTube, but it's one of the most infamous Legend of Zelda songs of all time. Like, it's, it's been a fan favorite for years. Plus, with Legend of Zelda or Queen of Time considered to be one of the greatest Legend of Zelda games of all time, that's another thing as well. I love that song, though. 
Legend of Zelda, uh, Orcarina of Time, Soria's song is one of my favorites. It's always been one of my personal favorites. The first time I heard that, it just sounded so beautiful. It's always been one of my personal favorite Legend of Zelda songs for a long time since I was a kid. It's about one of the fewest, you know. Can't think of any others, but it's definitely one of them. I also do kind of like Minda's Lament from uh, Twilight Princess as well, when, when it looks like Minda's about to die and you have to rescue her from death. That's another good one as well. It's pretty emotional, actually. Oh, let's go around to that treasure chest real quick. I do remember that treasure chest. That treasure chest, um, I'll show you what happens when we get in a minute, but let's get this spirit out of the way first. Ready? Go! <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. As soon as she hits me, and then immediately the the stage has her put on, where apparently we were both that sudden death where any of us could have died, and I just immediately hit her right after she hit me, and then she just died. That was funny, actually. That was actually pretty funny. Alright, there's fog immunity. Oh, good. I still got the Ashley Roberts bigger book in it. I forgot to switch it in the last fight, but good. I kept it on for this one. I was about to get ready to switch it, but no, I have the right one on. I still got the Ashley Robin spirit on to prevent fog. There's flowers involved. These flowers will slightly increase your health, so you gotta watch out when these flowers are on your head. Ugh! He's going too fast, I can't catch him. Characters that are really fast can be pretty annoying sometimes. Like, when you just want to freaking hit them, but they're going so fast and they're jumping all over the place that you just have a hard time trying to catch them. Pretty annoying. They're not the most annoying thing in the world, but they're pretty annoying enough, you know what I mean? Because look at this. And I don't have my armor knife spirit on, too, so I can die if I'm not careful. Ugh, Perry. Parries are really hard to pull off. I don't even know how you pull off parries. I just got lucky a couple times doing them, but I don't know how you're really supposed to pull, pull a parry off. Jesus, thank you. Jeez, that took me a long time. He kept blocking, he kept jumping, he kept running. Jeez, he was just going all over the place. Mewtwo was literally going all over the place in that fight. That was pretty annoying. At least I didn't die. Anyway, so, open up this treasure chest. And we get 5,000 spirit points. However, it's not over. Check this out. If you press A again, watch this. How cool is that? That treasure chest actually works as like a portal. It's a secret little entrance that you can go into. And you go into this little small area right here. This little secret area where you can get this fighter, Krom. That's what I was actually showing you earlier as well if you guys didn't see that. So there's a secret path to where you have to go inside one of the treasure chest boxes and... You take like a little tunnel to an area that you wouldn't be able to normally find in normal paths, and there we go. We get to fight Krom, and now we get to have him join the team. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, he's dead. He's obviously not going to recover from that, so just let him fall to his death. And Krom has now joined the battle. Awesome. I do like Krom. He's another good character to play as well. You know what? Maybe I might play as him for a little bit of a while, too. Maybe I'll switch over to Sonic in just a little bit. Maybe then for the remainder of the video, maybe I'll play as Krom. So you know what? Maybe I'll do a couple more battles with Zelda, and then I'll switch to Sonic, and then maybe at the end of the video, maybe I'll do, uh... I'll do, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh, Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, wait. There is one. There is a floor resistant you can use while you're using the Armor Knight. Okay, it's very rare that you find those, but okay, that can work. One of the Samus suit spirits can still work while you have the Armor Knight spirit on. All right. Wait a minute. It said it would. Okay, I'm. I got gypped. Well, at least it's a stamina battle. At least, at least it's just a stamina battle. At least it's just a stamina battle. If it was. An instant KO move where I would have been at 100 damage, I definitely would have died. So good. Didn't even need to put the Lava Spirit on. I thought I'd put it on. I guess it just... Maybe the Armonite Spirit just has too much effect that I guess it just doesn't work. I don't know. Here's this spirit. Skull Kid. 
Now this song that's playing in the background, this is the same song that'll play here when we get started. Listen, it's not the music's not gonna change. This is the same song that plays when we get into this fight, so listen. It's the same song. See that? So the song doesn't change when you go on this fight. It's the same song that'll play because, you know, it's the same song that plays when you fight Skull Kids. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? That the music doesn't change. It plays the same song. Pretty cool. I like that. Because, you know, what's the point of starting the song back to the very beginning if it's going to play the same song, you know what I mean? Anyway, so, uh... Shouldn't be that difficult of a fight. However, uh, we got a... We got a me fighter that's gonna dress up like a skull, the skull kid. That's the real skull kid. He actually can appear as an assist trophy, but we had to take out the me brawler that was dressed as skull kid to win, which we did. It's pretty easy. No big deal. And we got that out of the way relatively easy. So now we can continue on. And let's go this path. Oh yeah, there is a fighter down this path. Yeah, Young Link. Nice. I had a feeling this had to be Young Link, because I remember Young Link was in this area. And plus, this is a Legend of Zelda stage, so it only makes sense. Alright, so after we get Young Link, I'll probably switch to Sonic the Hedgehog and play as him for a little while, and then maybe at the end of the video, maybe I'll play as Krom. Now that I got Krom. Could even maybe play as Young Link, who knows? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Maybe I'll play as Young Link instead, because since this is a Legend of Zelda stage, maybe I'll play as the Legend of Zelda characters. I'll play as everybody else but Link, because I already got the real Link, you know, Breath of the Wild Links. He's already one of my main guys, so... You know what? Maybe I'll play as Young Link now that I got him. I was gonna do Krom or Sonic, but I changed my mind. Maybe I'll play as Young Link instead. I'll do Young Link. I can't play as him or Toon Link nearly as good as the real Link, but I can play decent enough. Oh! And another part of the, the Triforce has now been opened. Nice. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, so when you get the second one, that causes it to open. All right. Now I get it. But we're still not done with this whole area just yet, though. So let's continue grabbing more spirits and get this treasure chest right here to collect Sheik's Mask. Cool. Real cool. So there's still more spirits in here. We're not quite finished with this whole area just yet. So let me go ahead and get the rest of the spirits in here. I think there's about a couple more in here, I think. Yeah, I think there's about just two... Well, there's another, uh... There's another statue we can go to to get a message, so... I'll get that in just a minute, but let's get this out of the way. Let me switch to Young Link now. I'll probably play as Young Link for the remainder of the video. Maybe I'll wait for the next video. Maybe I'll play as Sonic and Krom instead, maybe. Cause I, so I said I was going to play as Sonic here, but now that I got Young Link, and plus this is a Legend of Zelda stage that we're in, maybe it would make more sense if I stay playing the Legend of Zelda characters for this video, and then maybe, whether if we're still in the same area or not for the next video, I'll probably play as Sonic and Krom then. I don't know. I I I'll see. Because, you know, even for characters that I'm not too good to play as, like these characters, I still gotta give them a chance to try them, because I can play decent with them. Like I said, I can play a little bit alright with, with these characters here. I play a bit good, a bit decent with um with uh, Zelda, as you saw, and then I can play a little decent here with Young Link, because Young Link's just pretty much just the same as Link, but he's not as good as the real Link. But Young Link is just as equivalent. Between him and Toon Link, over which one is close to the real, uh, to the adult Link, Young Link's really a lot more closer. Not because he looks more realistic because of his green outfit, but because his moves are just a little bit similar, you know? Although he has one of the better arrows, he does, he has a better arrow in some ways than Toon Link and adult Link, because he has bomb arrows instead of normal arrows. So that's what makes him a little bit better. Alright, let's get this out of the way. So, like, Young Link's pretty good, too. Believe it or not, when I first played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the very first time when it was released in late 2018, one of my friends that had the game on the Switch and I got to play on his Switch along with some other friends he had, the very first ever character I played in this game from my first ever experience playing it before I even had the game myself, this was actually, believe it or not, the very first character I ever played as, ladies and gentlemen. Young Link was legit the very first ever character I played as in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for my very first time experiencing this game. 
I legit picked him as my very first character because I was really excited when Young Lee came back for the first time since Super Smash Bros. Melee in 2001. It was just incredible to see him again because you finally get to see all three Links together. You know, Young Young Link, Toon Link, and Adult Link. So it was just great for me to see that. It was so exciting to see Young Link back. Anyway, courage lies with the hopeful girl who waits for her friend. All right. Well, we can get out of this area now because we finished it. Um, we can go back and get that Master Sword. I'm going to get the Spirit real quick, though, before we go back down. Ooh. I love that song, by the way. I really love that um, Fire Emblem theme song from Super Smash Bros. Melee. It's so cool. I used to thought that song was really cool back then as a kid. It's still cool for me to hear it even today. Such a cool song. Oh, God. Marth, he's got a double sword. He dodged that. That's it. Night, night. Alrighty. Um, let's go back down now, because now we can get that Master Sword, or don't want to go there. Yeah, you have to go down there, because you can't go this way. I think when you get the Master Sword, you can clear this dust, and you can go up there, so we have to go down there. And the rock is out of the way, so now we can get this fighter, and yep, as I knew it, it is Cloud from Final Fantasy. Oh, shoot, wrong button. <laughs> it is Cloud from Final Fantasy, so we can play as Cloud now for a little bit. Well, not, not right now, but maybe in the next video, maybe I'll play as him, I don't know, but we can get Cloud as part of the team. I really do like Cloud as well. This is a character I kind of do want to learn to play as a bit more, too. I don't play as him nearly as often either, but he's a great character that I do love playing as as well. Cloud is so awesome. This character is such a cool character to play as. I really love Cloud. He is awesome. Even if I've never played the Final Fantasy games, this character is so much fun to play as. And there we go. We beat Cloud, and now he has joined the team. Awesome. Like I said, I love Cloud. He's just an awesome character. Really a lot of fun to play as. Never gets old. Alright, now we can get the Master Sword. And watch what happens when we get it. The glow of the Master Sword dispel dispels the darkness from the land. And yeah, this is pretty cool. Check out this whole area. It's literally shaped like a Triforce as well. This whole area, those three different areas, like the area that we went to with that time thing and then the area we came, came from, the little shadowness and everything, it's literally shaped like a Triforce. That's pretty cool, isn't it? This whole area is shaped just like a Triforce, which is also considered the logo of The Legend of Zelda, which is pretty much true. So how crazy is that? And the music was still playing, but I entered the portal, so now music's gonna go away, I think. So there's two different ways we can go in here now. We can actually go on either side, but it doesn't matter. We gotta go all the way around anyway, so it doesn't really matter which way we go, but I'll probably go this way first since I'm already here, so let's go this way. You take minor damage, the enemy starts okay. And I'm having a clone mirror match because I'm fighting Young Link, Red Young Link, so I'm getting a mirror match here. Oh no, he's got the wind machine. That thing is pretty annoying. That wind machine can be a very annoying item, but now that I got it, let me try to push him away myself. You can just push your opponent off the stage. You can just easily just push your opponent off the stage to where they can't recover. It's such a, it's such a like, annoying item, especially if you're the one getting blown away with it. You just constantly hold the A button and you can prevent somebody from recovering when they try to recover with up B if this was to be one of those stage hazards. So it's a pretty annoying item. He almost would have did it on me, but thankfully I managed to knock it out of his hand and use it for myself to KO him. I didn't even really need to use it. I could have just won that without it. I mean, I could... I mean, this is too easy, so I would have had him in the bag, but I figured I'd use it because why not? I do kind of actually enjoy annoying the crap out of the AI with that item anyway, so <laughs> I figured I'd use it because it's a pretty good item to annoy the crap out of the AI with. 
So now we go this way. Dragonite. And dangerous high winds are in effect, so we better switch. And we're fighting Charizard. Oh, giant Charizard, excuse me. Oh, I thought I had it. Yeah, his... Yeah, too. Uh, Young Link's uh, up B move, if you do it on the ground, it's actually really good. His his up B move when you do it on the ground is really good, because it suckers in the opponent, instead of like just pushing him away instantly like Link's and Toon Link's does. Or maybe Toon Link has the same one as well, I don't know. But Link's just pushes the AI away, while... Young Lynx brings the AI in and puts him in like a tornado spin when he does it, when he's on when he's doing his up B on the ground. So that's pretty good, isn't it? And yeah, and I don't really like doing it on the in the air, the up B in the air nearly as much with Toon Link and Young Link, because I have a less chance of hitting the AI with it compared to how I do it with Link. Because Link's bigger, you know, and he's got a lot more range, so it's better doing it with adult Link than it is with Young Link and and to and Toon Link because they don't have as much range because they're smaller characters. You know, they're both kids versions of Link. There's this character from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. They were fighting Zero Suit Samus. I was so shocked. This this costume that she's wearing, this this is one of her alternate costumes, but this it's surprising that, that this costume actually does come from one of the games that she's been in. I think it was like around the time when they first started- Oh, no! I thought I was gonna recover. Oh, man. And I nearly had her too. I didn't even realize that was a stamina battle. She was at 19%, and I just. Dang it, I jinxed myself. Crap. I jinxed myself real hard there. I'm sorry, y'all. I messed that up completely. But we got her better in this one here. That was way better. Didn't even get hit by her once. So as I was saying, that costume that Zero Suit Samus is in, that's one of her alternate costumes. It's hard to believe that's actually one of her costumes from one of the Metroid games. I used to think that was just a customized costume just for, like, I'm not going to really go into detail about it, but I was surprised to figure it out it actually did come from one of the Metroid games. I think it was, like, around the time they first started showing Samus without her suit for the first time, and, you know, her hair wasn't even like that. She didn't even have a ponytail. She had it out. And it was surprising that she had an orange and blue outfit like this. So I was really shocked the first time I saw that and realized it was actually an actual costume. I was like, What? I was like, I thought this was just a fake costume, a fake alternate costume that they just made for specifically for the game. But it's hard to believe it actually did come from the from one of the Metroid games. And now I actually do like this stage, although it can get a little annoying sometimes, but this stage is actually really good because if you knock the characters into the fire or them spike balls, you can just easily knock them around and they don't have to go flying off the stage to die. They can just instantly get killed by it. So check it out. Well, if I can get well, you saw me do it with those other two villagers. You saw they died when they landed in the fire. But let me see if I can get this one. Oh no! I didn't even realize I was off the stage. So yeah, <laughs> I thought he was still gonna be alive there for a moment, but nah, he just bounced up at the last second and he hit the fire and then he died. <laughs> pretty cool, isn't it? It's a pretty good stage hazard, the Great K. That's what it's called. It's a pretty good stage to use for stage hazards, knocking your opponent into the fire. Oh, there's a fighter over there I could have gotten. Can I go back around? Yeah, I can go back around. I'll, I'll go back around in a bit. Camus. Fire Emblem. Alright. Let's make sure I have the right spirits on. Even though I'm at spirit disadvantage, but I could care less because I'll still win the fight regardless. And yeah, even when I try to do it, sometimes it doesn't keep the opponent in long enough for me to hit the full attack, so that's another thing. It pushes them away a little bit when you do it in the air with Young Link, so that's why I prefer Adult Link's better, because it brings them in, you know? Like, it keeps them in the motion while Young Link's, as you see, it kind of pushed them away a little bit, so I didn't get the full force of the attack. 
Anyway, here's another owl statue. The forest treasure is the path to the branded sword swordsman. All right. Let me go down there real quick, though, so I can get that. Oh, nope. I gotta get the T-Rex out of the way first. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna switch out of Toon Link, uh, Young Link, finally. I'm gonna go with Sonic the Hedgehog now. I didn't know if I was gonna stay as him for the rest of this video, if I was gonna switch. But you know what? I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna play as Sonic the Hedgehog for the rest of this video, and then until it's over. So I'm gonna play as Sonic for the remainder of this video now. I could have waited till the next video, but eh, I'm gonna go ahead and do- Oh no, I forgot to put the lava thing on. Crap. I forgot to put the lava thing on. Oh good, the platforms are not made out of lava, so we'll be fine. As long as I don't get knocked into the bottom of the stage, I'll be fine. I literally was switching with character. I forgot to put it, put the lava spirit on, but that's fine. The platforms will be made out of lava, so I'll be fine. So here on out, I'm going to play as Sonic for the remainder of this video. I'm just going to play as Sonic the Hedgehog from here on out till the till the very end of the video. Because I don't know, I just... I wasn't really getting tired of playing as Young Link, but I was like, eh, I think I might want to switch the character out, so let me go with Young Link, and I'll play as him. Oh, I have to go all the way back down. Okay, so I can't go that way. I see it now. Those rocks are blocking the path, so I can't go that way. I have to go all the way back down in order to go all the way that way in order to go to that other path, so I have to go all the way back down. Although that's not Sonic's full speed, but I'll take it. Oh, here's a statue. What does it say? Ascend the path of wisdom to face challenges. Alright. I'll talk to that one. Yeah, I did talk to that one before. Mega Me 2 Y. Alright. Interesting version of Mewtwo. I think this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is his final smash, so... And it says the enemy will suddenly have a final smash, so I gotta be careful now, because Mewtwo can get his final smash and he'll activate it, and probably might even try to hit me with it. <laughs> he was getting up, too. Like, it's like he was... He was down, and then he levitated himself up, and as soon as he got up, I just punched him. <laughs> That was funny. That was real funny. I'm sorry. Well, we got that out of the way, so... Oh, treasure chest. Let's get it. That'll give us a large snack. Nice. I think there was two of them. I think that said two. We got another spirit. Mega... Fori... Foria? I did collect this spirit previously, but the normal version of her, but apparently there's a mecha version of her, apparently. This is a spirit that is in... Uh, from Ex I think this is from Exona Blades, yeah, Exona Blades Chronicles. I do have the original version of this character, I believe. The original version of her is a spirit as well, but there's also a mega mecha version of her apparently. And the main fighter we have to face is is Corn, female Corn, the version of Corn that I usually like to use whenever I play as Corn, because I don't know, just hearing the name Corn just sounds more like a female name to me, so I just prefer to play as female Corn for that reason. Although it really ultimately does not matter which version of the character you play as, if it's one of those characters that has a male version and a female version of the character, but for me personally, as I mentioned before, just hearing the name Corrin, it just sounds a bit more like a female name in my opinion, so I just that's why I usually prefer to play the female version of Corrin than the male version. I played as male Corrin a couple times, but I usually always do the female version, because that's just, to me, in my opinion, Corrin sounds more like a female name. Oh, no. This fight is annoying. It should be a little easier now, because I have an armor spirit on, but this used to annoy the crap out of me the first time I did this fight. It's a cure from, uh, what is it? Virtua Fighter. Because the, the enemy would kind of, yeah, because this is, oh, wow. Immediate, I'm, I may have to change the spirit for this one, because this is going to be annoying. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta change the fighter. I gotta change the fighter out. This fight's gonna be annoying. I have to put Ganondorf on for this one. This is gonna be an annoying fight. Oh, no, I don't have a Ganondorf. Never mind. I guess I'm gonna have to do Link, then. He's one of my only other main fighters. Him and Weefit Trend are the only two other mains I got. This is an annoying fight, though. This fight is super annoying. I hate it. Like, when you're trying to KO the, uh... Ryu, this is the real version of Akira. He's an actual assist trophy, and if, when you try to, when you try to fight Ryu, he'll come in, and you see he'll annoy the crap, he'll annoy the crap out of you. Like he'll try to knock you off the stage and everything, and it's hard for me to kill him because you can see I'm trying to kill him, but he keeps on, 
<clears throat> God, I am getting destroyed. And it's a stamina battle, too, and that's another problem. And I try to go for... I gotta kill him. But because I can't move so fast, that's another problem. I'm trying to run after him, but it won't let me go fast, and I'm getting surrounded. Look at this. He's dodging. I can't even kill him. I can't even focus on Ryu and try to kill him because this son of a bitch is going to get in my goddamn way. Jesus, get out of here. Fuck off. I hate you. God, this fight is still annoying. It's not nearly as annoying as it originally was, thank God, but it's still annoying enough. And he may come back, so unfortunately this may not be it. He may come back. And Ryu somehow can get lucky enough to come back on the stage, while on the other hand, I couldn't. I don't know how this son of a bitch is getting even lucky enough to make it back on the stage while I couldn't. And he tried to attempt to do it on me. How was he able to get back on the stage? I couldn't do so when he knocked me off the stage, but yet he can? That is just annoying, bro. Like, come on. Get real. How is he able to get back on the stage and I can't? That is just... You have got to be kidding me. I tried to attempt to dodge that, and he knew when I was going to jump, and he jumped right... Or no, he jumped first, and he waited for me to jump so he could hit me. What a bitch. That actually pissed me off. I mean, at least it didn't kill me, but... So yeah, you try to knock him off the stage, but he's just not going to die. Okay, finally he does, but man, that was annoying. Yet I die, I die when I get pushed off the stage because of that stupid... Assist trophy Akira pushes me off further enough, but then when I try to do it for Ryu, it doesn't push him off enough where I can get the KO that way. <laughs> God, that was actually annoying. And I died just instantly as soon as I did my first attempt. Oh, this is another time thing. This is another one of those time things, so if you want to, you can go back down to the stage. Um, I think there is a fighter you can collect by doing that time thing. I don't know, but... You can get, um, a character, I think you can, I'm not positively sure, but if you go back and do that time loop thing, you can do it again, so let me see if I can do it, um. That was another one. Okay. I'm gonna try to recreate that. This is something I've always had a hard time figuring out because I've never been able to figure this out. So I'm still having a hard time figuring it out even till this very day. Yeah, I can't figure it out. I'll try to see if I can figure it out, but, oh. There we go. That's probably the fighter. I knew that, I, I knew there had to be something. I knew there was probably a fighter in here I could probably collect from that time clock. I thought I didn't when I did the other two, but no, there is one. So there we go. We did it. And we got me Brawler, so now we can face me Brawler and unlock him and get him to join the team. This will be the last me fighter, too, because we already got me Sword Fighter and me Gunner, so... This will be the last me fighter that we can get on our team now. I don't know how he managed to dodge that, but whatever. Oh, no, he's dead. He is not going to recover from that. So now that me brawler is taken care of, he will now join the battle. Nice. I realized I forgot to put Sonic the Hedgehog back on because I switched to Link for that Akira fight, but... Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. Alright, so I think we did do all the hours now, like all the time things. I think that was the last one, getting that fighter, uh, me brawler. So I, I'm gonna go back up to that state, up, up there to where we were at now. Oh, I'm going the wrong way apparently though, so I'm gonna get back up. I'm gonna get back up. <sighs> <laughs> the stop. There's Bowser Jr. This is the fighter that I was going to get before I bumped into that owl statue. Alright, I'm gonna switch to, uh... I'm gonna switch back to Sonic. 
So now we can get Bowser Jr. We can unlock him and get him to join the team now. First me, Brawler, and now Bowser Jr. So let me switch to Sonic real quick and I'll get him. There we go. Bowser Jr. is alright. I don't play as him very often either, but I didn't mind Bowser Jr.'s movesets. He's actually not a bad character to play as. But I don't play as him often enough, so I'm probably not going to play as him, but that's okay. I probably won't be playing as him, as I said, even though he is alright to play as, but I don't really care too much about Bowser Jr., but he is alright. You know, he's a bit decent to play as. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, get out of here. Ah, oh, I thought he was gonna land. That's pretty cool you can actually attack him when he's not even on his Ko Koopa Clown car. Oh, I did my back air attack. Nice. The back kick pretty much is what it is. And there we go. Bowser Jr. joins the battle. Nice. So, yeah, it's pretty cool you can attack Bowser Jr. as well as the other Kooplings for his alternate costumes while they're not even on the Koopa Clown car. That's pretty cool, actually. I think it's pretty awesome myself. And there we go, the rocks now will get out of the way. Probably should have went up here first before I went anywhere else, but that's okay. Did I get the statue? Yeah, I did get the statue, didn't I? Yeah. That's the same message, so yeah, I did get the statue already. Alright, so we're almost near at the top, and there's a fighter up there we can get as well, so we're almost near the top. I'm gonna go this way first, because there's a treasure chest right here. Ooh, the Dark Emperor from a uh, Street Pass Me Plaza. And that's the guy that's on that stage right there with... I think it's called Find Me? I think it's what the stage is called, I believe, but, you know, as I said, it's a princess... A, char a me character is a princess locked in the in the cage, and uh, yes, you can free it. See, in normal circumstances, you'd be able to move, you'd be able to hit the cage, and you can free it, the character from the stage. You know, you can you can free the me from the from the stage. God, he's got super armor on. That's not cool. God damn it, fucking giant re. God, he's got super armor on. That's not cool. Oh my god, he just he just gave. This monster just gave Ripley some power. What a bitch. Ah! God, I'm gonna die! I have super armor on, and yet I'm still getting KO'd. Thank you. Jesus. I actually almost lost that fight. I had super armor on with my armor knight spirit, and I almost lost a couple times. Well, it's a legendary spirit as well, so I guess that makes sense, but my goodness. He had, it's like he had more super armor on than even I did. And as you saw, it moved the cage a bit when we were hitting that me character that was trapped in there like a princess. So, if you do manage to knock it out, you know, you'll see the me character flying off the screen when he gets knocked off, which is pretty funny. Oh, I remember this song. Oh, we can't go up that way. Okay, we have to go all the way around. All right. This character... But anyway, he's from ba this character's from Bayonetta. I don't know how you say his name, so I'm not going to worry about it. But it does look a little bit creepy, though, because the center of his body is like a, a human head, and he's got, like, dragon feet and legs. So this character looks pretty creepy. But it is from Bayonetta, apparently. Gra low gravity. Oh, I missed it. Crap. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a stamina battle. I didn't even realize that, to be honest. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, if you press just the B button alone, you'll get a special attack where you can target the enemy with Sonic and it'll lock onto them. It won't always hit them, but it's a pretty good move, actually. And I figured since Charizard was huge, I figured I'd be able to have a good chance of being able to hit that. And it did just perfectly. Elena. Pandora's Tower. Alright, not familiar with that. What is with her arm? Look at her arm. She's got like little spikes or got like something on her left shoulder. What is wrong with her left shoulder? I have no idea what that is going on. It's like she has it's like she has something going on her left shoulder. It looks like she has little spikes. It's like she has like a little holes in her arm. What is going on there on her left arm? Well, if anybody that's maybe played the game or know about this character would probably know, but I have no idea what that's about. BAM! <laughs> right in the gut. Right in the gut. This character's really weird. Look at that arm. I'm not judging her, but it's just really weird. I just never noticed that before when I think I've seen this spirit. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. 
All right. Can we go down there? No, we can't. Okay. Here we go. All right, this character I remember. Even though I've never played Legend of Zelda The Four Swords, I do remember the opening cutscene where this character came in and kidnapped Zelda. I do at least remember this character for that. That's how I remember this character, so I am familiar with him. I don't know how you say his name, but at least I'm familiar with seeing it in the opening scene. This character looks creepy. Anyway, we gotta fight um, Ridley, and he's got a this weapon on. It's like a wind. It's like a wind windmill thing. It creates winds, but you can also hit opponents with the base of the weapon, as you can see. It's a pretty good weapon. I actually always liked that weapon since it debuted in Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U and 3DS. It's a pretty good weapon. Anyway, I had to turn my wind immunity on because it was wind of all, but I got it. Now that those spirits are out of the way, now we can get this fighter. Perfect! It's Ganondorf. Yes! God, I love Ganondorf. He's my second favorite fighter. Him, Link, and Wii Fit Trainer are my three absolute mains in this game, and I really do love Ganondorf. He's my second favorite. This is perfect. Probably should have figured it'd be Ganondorf. I really should have figured it was going to be him. I thought we really should have figured that, because this is a Legend of Zelda-like stage, so it only made tons of sense. I don't know why I didn't think it before, but that's okay. I'm, I'm definitely going to be more than happy when I get Ganondorf out on the team. I love Ganondorf. Always a fun character for me to play as. I always loved Ganondorf. I really started getting to learn to play as him when I saw this professional Super Smash Bros. player known as Liquid Can play as him, and I figured I got into the character, and I surprisingly learned how to play as him too. Not as well as him, but almost good enough, you know what I mean? And I'm starting to see the potential in Ganondorf. And that should do it. Yep, that'll complete the last Triforce. However, it's not over yet. Even though we got Ganondorf as the fighter, and we got the Triforce and Hole, that is not it. Check it out. The marriage vanishes, and the Demon King's castle appears. So, yep, a castle has appeared, and now a boss will await us. And judging by the name the Demon King, I'm sure you guys can probably already guess who that is. You'll see in just a minute when we get there. It won't even take us long to get there at all. Because we could run fast, whether we're Sonic the Hedgehog or not. I'll stay. I'll stay Sonic. I don't. I'll stay Sonic. Even though I'd probably rather play somebody else against this character, but I'll stay Sonic. This fight is at least a lot easier to do when you play it in the World of Light Adventure mode than it is in Classic mode, anyway. But anyway, check it out. You know who that is? Yep, it's Ganon. And just like Bowser, you know, like when Bowser becomes Giga Bowser, or when you fight Giga Bowser as a boss character, you see Bowser at first, and then he transforms into Giga Bowser. And they do the same thing here with Ganondorf. He's seen in his normal form, but then he transforms into Ganon, his true form. Because Ganon is pretty much his true form, so it makes tons of sense. Sonic may have been a bad choice for me to play as here. So, in order to beat Ganon, it's really, really tough, because you have to go around him in the back, and you have to hit his tail. His tail is his weakness, and that's the way to defeat him, so you have to go around the back and hit him in the tail. It can be pretty tough, especially if you were to play against him in classic mode, if you were to fight him in a harder difficulty level, and you were bursting him in classic mode. He is really tough then, but here it's easy, because once again, it's World of Light Adventure mode, and it's not nearly as stressful fighting all the bosses in this version, so it's a lot easier. Yeah, you could try to attack him from the front, but it does nothing. You have to go around him and hit him in the tail in order to beat him. And eventually, on occasions, he'll be stunned, and then this will give you a free opportunity for you to hit him even more. And then there you go. We got him, just like that. And because of the spirit that I had on as well, the Armor Knight spirit, that made it a lot easier for me to win because I had armor immunity. And there we go. We got the Ganon spirit. Nice. The Ganon spirit is now within our grasp. I think we usually, yeah, we usually always get the spirit of a boss whenever we defeat it as well, so it only makes sense. And that takes care of that. And because we got all the fighters and spirits in this area, check it out. The whole area is now complete. And we get a cutscene real quick. Have a look at this. The portal has turned from purple to blue, meaning that the whole area has now been complete. Well, even when the area is not complete, it'll still glow blue if you defeat the final boss, just like it did in that other stage where I thought I fully completed it, but I missed a couple of spirits and a fighter. But, everything is definitely done in this one, so we're definitely done with this area for sure. 
So now we can get out of here and then and take a look. We'll make sure as well. Oh, wrong button. There you go. See, there's a star around it, meaning that we finished the area. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We finished that area. So we got this area and this area completed. Now we just got one more area left to go to in the Dark Realm, which is this area right here, still covered in fog. And we can take this portal to take us all the way back to the center of the stage instead of having to walk all the way back there ourselves. And we're back in the center of the stage, ladies and gentlemen. So now... Um, we'll wait for the next video to get into that last area that's in the dust and try to finish that area off and do so then. So, uh, when I come back in the next video, who was I going to play as? I think I'll play as Krom, since I got Krom. I'll probably play as... I could maybe play as Toon Link, since maybe I did play as Young Link, so I don't know. I could maybe play as Toon Link, I don't know. Who else was I thinking about playing as when I got another character unlocked? Oh yeah, Cloud, Cloud. I forgot I wanted to play as Cloud now that I got Cloud involved. So maybe in the next video, maybe I'll play as Krom, Cloud, and maybe Toon Link, and I for sure as heck at some point I'm going to play as Ganador, because he's one of my mains. So maybe I'll play as Krom, Toon Link, and Cloud in the next video. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick Toon Link, because you know what? I didn't intend on wanting to play as him, but since I played as Adult Link and to a young link i guess it may be fair enough i gave young link a chance so when we come back in the next video i'll play as him to start things off but until then i'm off here ladies and gentlemen so once again we're nearly almost done we just got to get that last area right here where this dust is covering it up and when we complete the portal in that area that'll be it ladies and gentlemen so we're nearly almost finished we are nearly almost done with the dark realm so it's not too much longer before we get this whole area finished it's hard to believe we almost got it done already man we're almost nearly done here so, I'll leave it off right here, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to give this a thumbs up and share this with all your friends if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time in the next video, but until then, I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Stay good. That'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Just like to give it a thumbs down. Join me next time in the next video. To all you boys, men, and gals out there, boom, fist bumps get all of you. And to all the girls, ladies and women out there, kiss the gut to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.